my cat. New brush. I've already brushed her once. I don't know whether you can see her. But you have to be careful because she gets a bit excited, don't you? Although I don't think you will. You get excited. Hmm? So I have to pay attention so I don't get nipped. That nice. She's much calmer. I did her earlier on. And she keeps walking away and then makes it really difficult. I'm not allowed under there, am I? Am I allowed under there? Huh? Just a bit. It's always a bit risky under there. I know. So this is a new brush. The old one was very old. I can't reach you over there. And had got the old one was really old and had got weathered. So I've been sitting outside. And, and this is really good. It, you press this button and it um it pushes the hair out. And that's only a little bit. I had two lots of that large amounts earlier. So I don't know how much of that you've managed to see. Let's see if I can see what you can see. No, I can't see a damn thing. So she's okay. Chickens are okay. I have... Hold on. I can't even see to pause you, sorry. Sorry about the blue sky. I've been got a bit more gardening and um, I did a bit of shopping and bought some herbs. I bought basil, which is always difficult to grow. And um, I'm just hopeful it will grow. I bought thyme and I bought oregano. And I was going to find some plants to go there got hair on there now i was going to get some plants to go up and replace two-year-old geraniums but um as usual it was a you know got in there got what i wanted then didn't have time to look for anything else because i think you believe so but actually what i wanted were the herbs so i've planted them and i'll show you where i've planted them oh, i didn't start the video i'm gonna have to repeat myself now so over on the far left there is basil, um, which notoriously doesn't grow. Um, it was very pot bound, so I have divided it and um, I've planted up the other part of it in a pot. I've left out the back. I've planted it in that shaded behind the rosemary and lavender place because I'm thinking it's quite tender and um, may need to be protected from because the sun gets really hot out here um so i don't know what's going to happen with that i it was very wet very pot bound and i'm going to water all of this later but um i will cut that back in a few days time i will cut it by a third but at the moment i don't want to shock it again because i've already split it so I'll, I'll leave it to recover from that shock and see how it does. I don't know whether it will stay that pale. I think it's pale because it's just been so pot bound and I'm hopeful it will go darker if it grows. Um, next is thyme, which I think as long as I keep it watered will be fine. Um, that's then it, the thyme's easy to grow. The mint is a shop bought mint that I planted up a couple of months back. In, um, and it's gone really odd looking, really straggly. And I know mint goes mad and I don't care because actually if it grows and covers this, I'll be quite happy. 
um, and finally there is the long woody stems is oregano which again will need cutting back but I will wait until I can see green round here there's a green leaf here which may or may not be yeah I think it might be oh, it's clover there so I'm not sure but I'll cut this back once once I can see it growing round the base so the cat sleeps here given a chance she sleeps on all my herbs whenever I plant herbs she sleeps on them so I'm hopeful that she'll decide that that's not very comfortable <laughs> so far no consequences of all my um, using my hands and I'd pulled more really tough grass out this morning and um, yeah I'm really really pleased I can't I just can't believe it I don't know how but anyway um, I'm really pleased to have done that um, that is just a very small piece of gardening don't judge me but that's all I can do for now um, oh, the lady came and picked up the sheets and pillowcases this morning um, so that's good and I sat and watched, I was up early, I was awake from about half five. I sat and watched the DNC um, live stream belatedly and watched Michelle Obama and watched Barack Obama, um, both of them. So inspiring, so intelligent. Um, and what was it Michelle said? To, she said, uh, so... Donald talking about Kamala Harris and president she said what if this is your black job I think that's what she said that made me laugh um, I've been seeing stuff that I say Trump if it won't be Trump it'll be his um, staff have been illegally using Taylor Swift's photo um, and photoshopping um, t-shirts saying Swift is for Trump on them and making suggestions that she has or will endorse him well I can tell you right now she will not endorse you Trump she is so humanitarian you would be the last person she would endorse but I was just saying to Mark this morning um, they don't care they don't care because she can sue him and probably will but it it's water off a duck, duck's back for him so what another lawsuit he really doesn't care about that um so he they just abuse people in a you know they they abuse people's i'm trying to think of what the word is but it's like they they just walk all over people. It's like I'm looking over there because I'm hoping that's not a horse fly, but I think it is. Do I need to keep my eye on that? So they walk over people, um, just like he did in Scotland. Walk, they walked over people up there, walked over people that live locally, and and that's what they do. And they don't care. It's like they don't give a damn, and and that's how they treat people. And that's how he'll treat people. It's like someone that treats people like that is uh, is not presidential material, really. The other thing he's saying is that he can't quite make up his mind is that Kamala Harris, and somebody said it in my comments, is communist. But he also says she's socialist. And he also says she's fascist. He can't quite make up his mind because I don't think he knows what any of them mean. I'll tell you who is communist though, Putin. Trump's friend Putin is definitely communist. So he's sowing seeds, really nasty seeds, that, that some people are believing. You know, it's like they drunk the Kool-Aid, they're believing the lies. Somebody in my comments said, you know, she slept away to the top. Well, that's such a misogynist um, statement I can only think that this person was repeating something that Trump has said 
it's so misogynistic to talk about a woman like that it's it's just unbelievable so yeah watching michelle obama and um, feeling how inspiring she was how intelligent she was and her talking about the you know bringing hope back and um and and people she talked said something about trump and people started booing and she said don't boo vote and she's right you know don't sit and whine do something about it make a make a difference do something i said to peggy my friend peggy in chicago the other week i went i wish there was something i could do because there isn't and i know i'm not american but it, it does matter to me because i am as america is part of nato and nato is really important it's an alliance that's really important and um, Trump will take you out of NATO. Then you won't have allies. Oh, you will. Sorry, you'll have Putin. You'll have China's president, prime minister, president, um, Kim Jong-un, Jung, if you're lucky or unlucky. So, if, But you won't have any allies. You won't have any Western allies if he takes you out of NATO. And that's really important to have allies. Um, and we all know you won't have rights over your own reproductive system. Women will lose so many of the rights that they fought for. They'll probably lose the right to vote. That's not been mentioned. But I bet you, if Trump got in, you'll lose the right to vote. Um, they're going to want you back barefoot pregnant and in the kitchen they're going to take you back to the what the 20s the early 1900s they're going to take you back to the 70s i think it was somebody say it was 73 before a woman was allowed to vote i can remember back in the late the mid 60s the mid-60s, mid my mum was not allowed to sign a higher purchase agreement. Now, you don't have higher purchase agreements now, but it was a higher purchase agreement was meant, meant that you could buy what it was that you wanted and have it and receive it and pay it off in instalments. And she wasn't allowed to sign that. She needed to have... It either would need to be my dad who signed it or she needed a guarantor. And I remember my granddad guarantored it. And that was mid to late 60s so we're not going back that far when women had fewer rights than they do now and i can't believe how many women in america are going to be willingly giving up those rights and some people say that that's scaremongering well you obviously haven't educated yourself if you think that's scaremongering and if you're getting all your stuff from truth social then you're not educating yourself it's like reading the sun newspaper or looking at Fox News, that is not going to educate you. Anyway, so we started off. This is how my videos go, by the way, and I'm not going to cut it or change it. This is how they go. I'll talk a little bit about what's going on. I'll show you what I've been doing. I'll plant a few, show you a bit, a few plants, blah, blah, blah. And then I get to the, uh, what I want to talk about. And that's how I do it. Um, and there was probably a lot more that I wanted to say, but I didn't start off that way um i do these are they're quite spontaneous i do them on the hoof so there'll be more but for god's sake wake up please wake up